Hi, I'm Anders Furuskjær. I'm with Ericsson Research. Today we will talk about heterogeneous networks. These are networks with base stations of different types. In areas where it's difficult to find sites for new macro base stations, complementing the macro layer with a layer of low power nodes, for example PICO base stations, is an efficient way to uh, improve performance. A challenge in those networks is to make the new layer of PICO base stations work together with the macro layer as efficiently as possible. One example of the way this works is which base station to connect to. The different output powers in a heterogeneous network gives rise to different coverage areas. In this example we have a macro base station and a PICO base station. The PICO base station due to its lower output power, will cover a relatively smaller area than the macro base station. So in the downlink, it would be better to connect uh, to the PICO base station within this area. In the uplink, however, it is the terminal output power that determines in which area it is better to connect to the PICO base station. This area will be larger than the downlink coverage area. So surrounding the PICO base station, there will be an area in which it's better to connect to the uplink to the PICO base station. Now, when it comes to cell selection or who schedules the terminal, it is quite obvious that for a terminal inside the downlink coverage area of the PICO base station, it should be connected to the PICO base station. For a terminal that is outside the uplink coverage area of the PICO base station, that terminal should be connected to the macro base station. The problem is really when you are in this area, the so-called imbalance zone, where the uplink is heard better in the PICO base station, but the terminal hears the downlink better from the macro base station. If I in this case connect to the PICO base station, I sacrifice downlink coverage or downlink data rates. On the other hand, if I connect to the macro base station, I sacrifice uplink data rates or uplink coverage. A solution to this problem would be for the terminal to be connected in the downlink to the macro base station and in the uplink to the PICO base station. To realize this we need coordination between the macro layer and the PICO base station or the PICO layer. This last coordinated solution where the PICO base station assists the macro base station in receiving the signal from the terminal enables significant performance gains. How large these performance gains are depend on how the signals from the base stations are combined, which in turn depends on what backhaul is used between the PICO base station and the macro base station. The decent backhaul, you can do selection combining, which already that gives significant performance gains. The best case, however, is if you can have a dedicated fiber-like solution or WDM PON. This enables sending IQ data over the interface, which in turn enables interference rejection combining of the signals. So, in short, decent backhaul, decent coordination gains. Super backhaul, super coordination gains. To summarize, heterogeneous networks are a good way to improve performance, especially in cases when it's difficult to find new macro sites, for instance in urban areas. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this interesting.